Hey guys, how you doing? Gavin again. Um, so today, I don't know if you can hear, but it's starting to thunder a little bit. Thunder, rain, it's kind of been doing it all day. You, you can't tell from here, but here I'm in. You can see the um, ground is kind of wet, but um, God, I really want to get working on this. Let me do this. Okay, I really want to get working on this. This is a free steel trimmer, which Whew, if it's for free, it's for me, man. And I am so happy because I've wanted the steel trimmer for a while. Not sure if I'll use this as my main one. I get rid of my Ryobis, but this, oh, it's going to bring a lot of money if I sell it if, and when I sell it. But anyways, something that takes precedence over that, though, and it's the Murray because I'm going to be using it. Just to, Actually, I think I'm going to use it tomorrow. So, um, yeah, but it's Thursday today. I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but... I need to do two things today. So one um, is I've tried tightening this up, but I've kind of just ignored it. But the cut's a little weird. It gets good, but it's a little weird. So this, the problem is, uh, you can see that just literally slides right off. This deck hanger on the bottom. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's great. A good fart. Um, <laughs> so the deck hanger. Or the deck is so low to the ground at the lowest setting that it's, it's fucking on the floor. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? It's on the floor. And uh, this does not stay on and should not be that loose. Another thing I need to do, level it. Um, working kind of in a tight work space here. So this is really fun to do. Not. But um, yeah, it got a ton of rain on it today, which uh, is not good. I don't like raining, rain on my shit. But nice thing is, stuff got to the ammeter but oh breaks on anyways I, it still works i'm pretty sure uh, i want to test it but i'm not gonna let it start i'm not gonna turn it long enough just wanna yeah we good all right so yeah i gotta pull the deck off again but yeah that steel trimmer it's it's gonna be my next one, it's a FS38, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but. I also, I've done a lot of stuff off camera, and I'm sorry. I uh, took the few lines off of this and put on a different one just to kind of get it running for the year again. I want to make sure it actually run. It will. So you'll see some more. You guys are going to get a lot of episodes coming up here. Um, I'm done with school next week. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to stop the video and peel this deck off. You guys have already seen me do it before. You know how it's simple. Um, leveling it is a little bit different. I'll show you how to level it. That I will show you. Okay. Um, I, I just want to get this one leveled because for, for what the deck is, it's not great. But um, I can also kind of show you what I did with the deck breaks. So I can explain a little bit about what exactly happened when it messed up. Right, I'm going to get you guys set up here. I'll kind of tell you um, and show you a little bit. Let me zoom this in. Okay. Oh, I gotta clean this thing off. I gotta clean off the floor a little bit, so I'm multitasking. Uh, might as well kill two birds with one stone and let's kind of tell you what I did. So, what I did is I just basically took and put another washer on that and I took the, the brake pads off. Well, this one I didn't. And that one actually came loose. So, glad I found that out. I need to re tighten that. Oh, and. So I'm going to show you, in case you were wondering, my uh, grease filling was successful with that. So that's good news. But um, so what I had to do is took that off, ended up breaking that. That's why there's that bolt in there. Um, well, you know what? That's not where that should be. But I had to tighten up this thing. Yeah, you can see where it was. It was there. I had to move it to there. Almost all the way tight for the belt to properly work. So, um, I think it just got really hot. That's what I think happened, but I don't know. But this thing has been mowing great. Um, I'm sick of it scalping, though. Uh, I need to get scalp wheels for it. Um, I, yeah, I'm just sick of it scalping the yard. Um, I mean, ideally, I need another deck. Yeah, I know, but... Um, <laughs> They're in shorter supply than uh, baby food right now, so, or formula, I should say. 
um, which is not yet for mothers to keep breastfeed. So, um, yeah, to all the mothers out there that can't breastfeed, yeah, I, I wish you well with your babies. I, I feel bad for you. Um, Luckily, all my parts came in a surprisingly fast fashion for what I was expecting. And, you know, if you're driving in traffic or whatever, I mean, this isn't the side right, I guess, but if you're driving in traffic and you happen to come across like a UPS driver that's maybe driving slow or whatever, don't give them crap. They, if it wasn't for them, same thing with truck drivers, like, if it wasn't for them, we would not have our stuff. We would, we would not have anything, you know? Like, 90% of our stuff comes from a truck. And yeah, I know this, I go on all these rants and stuff, and I'm not really gonna go on too much of one now, but. Yeah, so, anyways, um. I kinda lost my thought. I don't know why, but the belt, um, kinda smelled smoking. I chowed down some dang noise yesterday. Yeah, I filmed it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload it yet. I haven't quite decided. Um. I didn't use full throttle, but to upload the video, I used about half throttle, and I don't know why, but the deck, when it's spinning at that speed, it's it's just relaxing to me. I don't know why. Just the sound of it. Reminds me of my grandpa mowing with the uh, L100 he had. Um, just mowing the... Oh yeah, I don't know if I told you guys, but my grandpa had three riding mowers. This was the first one he got, then he got a John Deere L100, and then he got a... Uh, John Deere D100, or no, D110, sorry. The D100, that's right. The, one the 110 uh, John Deere's, I've found this, I'm not really a John Deere nut, but I at least know this much about it, is the 110's, all of them, are hydrostatic, and all the 100's are like the, like I got, they're like the, the gears, you know. You pick your gear and go. But. All right, so, deck belt off. This is the only setting I really don't want to get messed with. Um, yeah, I know I need a new belt for the hair. It, that one works for now. And I'm not selling it. So, uh, yeah, but I'm really happy. That's nice and quiet. It spins like it should. You can see it doesn't spin forever. It actually has resistance, which you want. This is exactly what I was talking about. This was an emergency repair and it's worked great. I haven't really checked much out, but. I almost want to get that. I think I'm gonna fix this too in this video. I'd like to get that. Uh, I'd like to get that fixed. I feel like that has more to do with the play. I feel like it was just that much tighter. Maybe said gold. But this is the main thing because um, I dropped the deck and it's and uh, this thing popped off. Not be having that. That is not good. So get the deck flip over here. Gonna take the blade lever off. Come on. It is shocking though that there's just chunks missing out of it because uh, I think my grandpa like mowed in the shelter belt they had. Um, but there is no rust and no holes underneath here. It's quite impressive. All right, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it is very impressive how there's no um, rust underneath this deck. Um, it's quite awesome. Alright, so here's the loose side, and the problem is, is the these thingies, they're, I'll show you, I'll see if I can get it off here. What I'm going to have to do is get a vice grip. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, here we are. Ah, the can of starting fluid too. Tisk tisk. Okay, so, anyways. I gotta basically just hold the crap out of this. Oh. Uh oh. That's not good. It smells dirty a little bit. Is it still? I don't know. When you move that can around, it just stinks, I guess. So, um, okay, me back over. Oh man, I thought I got a little water off. It comes crashing down, it's coming crashing down on my hand, so. Yeah, you guys are gonna hear some fun noises if that happens. Mm -mm. No. I'm gonna have to grab a. I'm gonna have to grab the fucking other back
Okay. It's not fucking going on, it's going in. Uh, well, let's just hope that stays. All right. Anyways. Not a 916. So that's a half inch or 13 mil. Okay, well, we're doing a half inch today though. Okay. I want to use my. Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to use my impact because you get it done quicker. And I don't just get to sit there with the ratchet fighting the vice grip. This is one quick crack. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Give me a second here. Um, oh, by the way, if you comment on my videos, Please comment in English. Um, I'm not pointing any fingers, but there's a guy who comments on one of my videos, and uh, I am not able to translate it into English, so you can do me a favor and uh, just comment in, in English. Great, I appreciate any comments. Please comment. Um, let me know who viewed the video, because I don't get to see that necessarily. I mean, maybe I do. I don't know how to look at that as well. I don't know. What, oh my god. Is can leaking? I hope so. That'd be great. That'd be just fantastic if I got to deal with a leaking can of uh, starting fluid today. Exactly what I want to do. Uh, rainy Thursday. But I've actually got stuff going on tomorrow too, surprisingly. Even though I don't have school tomorrow. Um, because it's a Flex Friday for me, which if you don't know what Flex Friday is, basically you just go in if you have to, get something done if you want to retest on the test or something. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, or you don't have to go in, but. Okay, what the heck? How come I can't find my adapter? This is annoying. This is terrible. This is stupid. I don't like it. I want to find it. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. No, I didn't. Yeah, okay. Oh, I just had a stroke there. Um, <laughs> well, I found something even better. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I really, really hope that's actually not leaking. I was being sarcastic. That better not be leaking. Um, yeah, that better not be leaking. That's all I can say. Um, okay. We have a different 13 here. So I found a different one. Yeah, this is all a mess right now because I had to pull them. I didn't want to have to pull them in, but uh, oh my god, excuse me. I am so sorry. I mean, I'm sure someone just got a laugh out of that though, so maybe I'm not that sorry. Putting a lot of trust in that block of wood and it's doing a good job, so you know what? I have my reasons to, so but yeah, um, gosh, summer's coming up for me here, um, so. You guys are going to see a lot more mowers and stuff. Um, ooh, it's thundering out. I hope you guys can hear that. Anyways, here's what I'm going to do. So, uh, I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me just give you guys a quick pause here. So you don't have to look at the bottom of the deck. Boring! Anyways, the holes is not as uh, square as it should be. I can get that off, okay. All right, glad to get that off. Glad I'm done with that. Um, now we can move on to a little bit more fun stuff as far as the deck goes. Um, yeah. Uh, oh my God, that's not very surprising. But there you go. That's a piece I need to get off. <laughs> Let's flip this back over. 
Uh, or maybe not. Let's, let me just take you with me here. All right. Okay, yeah, you can see how tight of a workspace I'm working with here. Okay, um, all right, bolt bin. Now, the problem, my predicament here is, is that I gotta pick something that's not gonna interfere with any, uh, any, any way the deck works. I can't pick something that messes with that. Uh, oh, look, another one. Nope. Um, and even worse, it has to be the proper size. Hmm, that seems appealing. Uh, let's... Ooh, what about this? This fits, this looks, this feels secure. Um, I know it's the same flat deal, but... Well, the threads don't even fit through, so... All right. Ooh, let's try that. Let's try that for sure. I'll, you know what, I'll bet this will work. This will work great. Um, hmm. Yeah, if I can find a bolt for that. It doesn't fit though. <laughs> okay, back to the drawing board. Uh, how about a bin of bolts? We have two of them. If I can't find a bolt with that, that'll work. Then, um, then that would suck. Now, something I have been thinking about a little bit too is with my next Murray that I get to replace the deck and parts I need other elsewise, I really hope that whatever I get actually has a good deck. I um, kind of thought about that. I'm like, oh shit, what if I got it and I had a bad deck or I went to go get it and then like, oh, mm -mm, guess what? Like if I saw on the post, needs a new deck. Mm, nope. Even if it had a perfect seat. Even if, ah, I mean, okay, I take, I take that back. If it was right on the way up to our cabin, something. Maybe I don't know. But, I want that there so I can see how much I've got to work with. So the bolt's standing, okay, I can't. But anyways, this bolt is not gonna interfere with anything. So, okay, no, that's too big, that's too big. Um, for shits and giggles, let's try Phillips. Maybe that'll work. Oh my god, I don't fucking believe it. The Phillips had one work. Okay, we're gonna set that there. Um, I don't want something that's stupidly big or stupidly long. I also want something that fits pretty good. These fit pretty good. But the Philly cheesesteak. This one actually fits better. Oh, let me uh, find a bolt for that. Not for that, I mean. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is raining. Ah, I don't think you can. I gotta show you. I wanna see for myself, too. Woo! Big drops, buddy. Yeah, I'm not really gonna be testing the deck today. <laughs> Anyhow, speaking of the deck, I uh, found the, the, um, the nuts, so. Oh, good grief. That was so smart sometimes. But not right now. I did not tighten that down. Yet. And now that's set up before I started from filming. It's alright. Alright. So. There. One to zip the foot to see? God damn it. What the fuck did I do with the thing? <sighs> Seriously? There's, oh, okay. So, there really is kind of only one way this goes. Uh, I mean, it goes on like that. It doesn't face in or faces outward. Kind of hard to mess it up. Um, but if you do, I guess you're just dumb. And uh, there is not really much hope for you. So, I know this isn't going to interfere with anything, because look, that's, that's good. You guys can see the whole deck, can't you? Yeah, you don't need to see the front part. So. Oof. Oh, I'm so glad I got the Murray moved in. Because even if I would have covered it, the deck still would have gotten wet. And uh, say I wanted to do this today, and I'm like, oh, you know, dang. Um, this is something I wanted to do for a while.
So here's the importance of finding one that fits good. So I'm able to successfully put that on so that that can be held until anything else. So this one, it's even better because it has a nylock on it. So even if I like lose the other one somehow, which I don't know how I could, um, this one will, will stay because there's a nylock on it. So smiles all day right there. Okay, that, I was going to say for a second, does not feel like it's holding, but uh, no, it's on there, all right? Okay, so I'm going to tighten this one down first, I think. Um, yeah, as long as that's not floppy jalopy, I'll be okay with it, because you know what? Let's be honest for a minute. Uh, oh, I never realized that there's actually a lip right there to go up. That's why you can't just put metal because it has to have it like this. That's why that chews into the ground. But scalp wheels are still a good idea. John Deere All 100s, that's another thing I looked up today. I was curious about it. They have scalp wheels on both front sides, which is where it makes sense. I don't know why they put them in the back. I mean, maybe if you're going up a hill or something, that's so it doesn't bottom out in the back, but still, it's, I don't know. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked because I'm stupid. Um, it's not actually like a half inch. Well, let's peel this back off. Screw it back on. Really nice oh, I say peel too damn much. I need to tell me to just shut up the same peel, but okay. Anyhow, I'm just berating myself right now. I'm okay with self abuse. I'm not really, though. Sweet. Alright, they're both 13. That makes it my life super easy. I like when I pick things that are the same size and I don't even mean to, particularly, you know? Like, yeah, okay, I meant to, but I didn't. Like I wanted to, but I didn't intentionally totally do it. Eh, besides the point. Let me see. Ah, my old background was wrench from the wrench drawer. Perfect. Um. Yeah. No. Maybe not. No. Crap, you guys gotta see these drops. Look at that. Look at the street. Oh my god. I'm trying not to show too much here of where I live, but like. That's insane, my goodness. How big are they? Oh shit, is that hail now? Hold on, it might hail soon. It's supposed to. Yep, there's hail. There's a hail chunk. My neighbors up the street have their garage door open. That's funny. There you go. I'll show you guys that though, so you guys can see. Oh yeah, you can hear the hail. This is nice. I like this kind of. Yeah, hail chunk. Cool. I gotta stay in here though. I'm getting. I oh, goddamn. I must have part of my dad and brother's ADD because. I get sidetracked with storms, but storms are cool. Well, they don't damage shit, but you know, we don't really get a whole ton of hail where we live. I hope I have that on Titan. Oh God, I don't know. This might not be the right choice to have it like that, or have the wrench on the top, but I'm gonna have it opposite, actually. That, that, that just makes a little bit more sense. Comes with hail. Alright, I'm gonna just. I just had to take a look at the storm out, man. The rain slowed down, but the the um, the hail has definitely increased. So alright. Here we go. That went easy. Oh shit. You know what? That one's not that that that's not gonna work. Because, I didn't consider that. Look, it's got this stupid thing. So I either have to find washers that would fill that, or a different bolt, and I think you know which one I'm gonna pick. This door is lit from 10 to 11. Look at the hail, holy shit. Oh yeah, buddy. I'm 
glad I got that pulled in. <laughs> you can't really fix hail damage as easily as rain if it did any damage. Hey, I'm almighty. This is crazy. Look, look at the size of that one chunk right there. That one chunk. It's huge for where we live. At least. Okay, I'm not giving that out. The grass needs some of this though. Doesn't need the hail quite, but need the um, uh, the rain. <sighs> Crazy man, I tell you. Crazy, but I am not having much luck in this bin either. Um, so yeah, just a little update here. Uh, keep going though. Not sure. I just had to film that hail. Wow. All right. Now I know I'm gonna get comments saying, "Yeah, you can't do that." No. But I don't really care because, uh, yeah. Oh, fun. I only have nine more minutes of the recording on this, so cool. Um. But yeah, like a lot of things, this is a little bit rigged. Um, oh, which also makes me delete a lot of crap in order to actually save the video. The amount of stuff I do for YouTube. Delete, 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 delete. One fucking video. And this actually kind of threads on, kind of. It doesn't really hold a whole lot, but at least it threads on. This is what I care a little bit more about. And it does exactly what I need it to, which is act like a washer. And yeah, that's already tighter than like, what I had with the other chip, but whatever. All right, the way we tighten. This is gonna be fun because I gotta fight the this. Nice. Make sure this other deal is. Yeah. We're good. We just need to make sure this is tight. Okay. All right. That's already tight. But this one we can't. Can't leave that on loose. Are you kidding? Where are you, psychopath? What is your whack thinking I'm gonna leave that? I know this is a little rigged, but you know what? It's gonna work just fine. You watch, I promise. Okay. Um, yeah, I might, I don't know, I might just finish some, some of this stuff a little off camera, because, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll stop the video for now, I'll come back, we'll get the deck leveled, I'll tighten this up off camera. I'll get the play fixed off camera, but I'll show you how to level the deck. Um, I feel like that's the important part here. Me fixing this is not. Wow, I like how tight that is now. That's what she said. I know. All right, we're back. I can uh, level the deck now. So, something I noticed. This side, I'll get down and show you, is currently touching the ground right there. Um, it shows me that the front of it up there, which is how you actually adjust the front, is down a little bit. Now, if I go to the other side, it is not touching the ground anywhere. I mean, I get that most of that's missing, but still. Got the play in that one pulley fixed. Um, I'm going to clear a work area over there, because I know that's where I can actually work. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get, I don't know where it's going to be, but I'm going to get an actual gauge leveler and I'm going to get, I'm going to level this thing professionally. And also if you like, look at the front, you can see it's like going down to the one side. So definitely got to get that fixed. Still raining out. 
you know, uh, it stopped for a little while, but you know. Okay, so the way I'm gonna level this might be a little bit different from how some other people do it, but basically, you see this gauge, right? We got that one which is at the top, but for it to be level, I forget how this works. That one, you can see we're on pretty level ground right now. Um, but like this, okay. So if I also put it like that, you can see, even holding it like that, it still says that the front is down. Even though looking there, to me it looks like the back is down. Um, which it probably is a little bit, but. Um, but yeah, so all the videos I've seen on how to level it, none of them, the people actually use a leveler. Um, so basically, what you got to do is use the thing to lift it. Um, and we got quite a bit to go before this is where it needs to be. So I'm going to put you guys on hyperlapse the first time, and I'm going to. Ah. Uh, don't know if I'm going to add music again. I might, though. So. Um, yeah. Here we go. So, as you guys just saw in hyperlapse, I leveled this side of the deck. Um, if you're wondering what I was bending, is I wanted to get this bent. I'll kind of show you the angle here. You look now, instead of it just digging straight into the ground, um, I think it'll, um, well, minus that part, but uh, this part now will not dig straight into the ground. So I think that that'll actually um, just ride up on the ground and hopefully kind of push the deck up out of the way. That's my hope. Um, and also when I leveled it the first time, uh, I cannot have it. You cannot have it in the lowest position for when you first level it. You got to put it all the way down. Yes, I can't. There we go. If it doesn't get caught on your crock. Um, but something I learned too is one, this adjusts the level it's at, I guess, the, le the levelity of it. I don't know if that's the right word, I don't care. Anyways, this does not do what I thought it did. This I thought adjusted the back, it doesn't. This adjusts the front and the back. Um, this is a very important part, do not lose this. This part is very, very important because it actually controls your height. You put it there this would be completely on the ground right now this is actually where it should be this is nice and off the ground now I mean it's, it's very I mean, that spot is the only spot that's still very close to the ground but most of this is enough to I mean that'll just bounce off and I'm hoping that um, that won't dig in too much right there I mean it still might but big deal if it does um got the blade back on or blade, whatever, which I found out. Can't engage it right now, but what I did find out, this is a little bit funny, I don't think it makes a difference underneath here, but I don't know, I kinda wanna see if it does. No, it doesn't. But the clip for that is missing. But as you can see, all the play in this is tightened up. Um, so yeah, oh shit, still gotta find something for this, don't I? Cause I lost the pin for, for that, but um, I'm gonna just level the other side of the deck and get the whole thing done off camera. Um, so I, gotta, I wanna save a little bit of sword space. And This is already gonna be a really long video. I don't need to extend it any further, so. Um, well, doing that, I'll give you guys a final thing when I'm done, so. But yeah, there you go. You guys got a little bit of hyperlapse. Um, the music I'm gonna be using, yes, if you watch Mowers and Blowers, you would notice he does use the same music that I 
hope to use. I'm going to have to find that out. Um, I've imported music into stuff for because I used to record videos when I was younger. Not sure if I told you that, but I did. Anyways, I'm going to get a scalp wheel here, if you saw. This I took my hand. I kind of just set it out like this, because that's what scalp wheel does. The scalp wheel will be right about there. Now, what I was curious is, is like, hmm, would it hit the wheel? So I turned the wheel. If you look, it doesn't. Even if slash when, you do the whole thing. It comes close, I'll agree, but actually it'd be down even more. But I just want that side to quit hitting because this thing keeps digging into the ground and leaving clumps in the ground. And I don't think my neighbor really appreciates that on either side. Um, yeah, but anyways, there you go. I'll be back at some point coming up. So, um, yeah. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. The deck was already pretty much level. Um, got this seated back into place again. This front part here will not seat. I don't know why, but got the corners on pretty good. So I'm hoping that I won't completely pop off again. I mean, the side that's prone to popping off is right here. So it's on the other side. Anyways, that side I've got on pretty good. So not worried. Um, so there you go. Keep watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.